Okay, so next uh, we'll look at some more complex numbers questions. Uh, these are quite a good example of how complex numbers questions can contain content from other parts of the syllabus, uh, which, which normally makes them a pretty difficult topic. So here's the first question. Write an expansion cos theta plus i sine theta cubed uh, in the form a plus ib, and we're doing that in terms of sine theta and cos theta. Um, Okay, so in terms of the expansion, well, we should notice that this looks a bit like a binomial expansion, and so we can probably save ourselves a little bit of time by actually using the binomial expansion, um, and that is going to give us uh, cos theta plus i sine theta cubed is going to be equal to cos cubed theta plus uh, three lots of cos squared theta i sine theta plus 3 cos theta i sine theta squared plus i sine theta cubed. Um, just using the binomial expansion. Uh, once we've got it looking like that, all we need to remember is that i squared it's going to give us negative 1 and i cubed therefore is going to give us negative i and then that should be enough to work out the rest of the expansion um, and if we do that uh, we should end up with uh, cos cubed theta Uh, take away 3 cos theta sine squared theta plus i lots of 3 cos squared theta sine theta minus sine cubed theta. Okay, so once we've got that, uh, we can look at the second part of the question, which says, hence, show that cos 3 theta equals 4 cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta. Now, it's maybe at first like a little bit difficult to understand, like, well, how is that related to, to what we've just done? Um, I suppose the trick is to actually look at this here and think, well, I could actually expand this in a different way. Uh, using de Moivre's theorem and and then from that hopefully kind of be, be able to equate something. So I can say well I also know that cos theta plus i sine theta cubed um, is going to be the same as cos 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta just using de Moivre's theorem. Um, now that I've got that, um, I can then equate the real um, and the imaginary parts. So basically, this thing here has to be the same as all of this thing here. So all of this is the same as all of this here. Um, if I look at that, to look at the real part, so the real part is telling me that uh, we have cos 3 theta must be the same as cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta sine squared theta. Let's check, is that what I actually wanted to find? Yes, 4 cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta. Okay, so it's not quite what I want yet, um, but we're kind of getting there. Um, I want the answer looking at 4 cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta. And I've got this this thing here. Okay, well, if I if I notice that sine squared theta can be converted into uh, cos squared theta, so I can rewrite that as cos three theta equals cos cubed theta minus three cos theta one minus cos squared theta. Therefore, cos three theta equals cos cubed theta. 
minus 3 cos theta plus 3 cos cube theta and therefore that is going to be the same as 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta and that is what I was asked to prove before. Okay, so quite a tricky question. Um, you're involving here's a binomial expansion. Um, we're then using De Moivre's theorem, and then we're also then using trig identities: sine squared theta equals one minus cos squared theta. Okay, so th that would be classified as quite a difficult question. Probably one of the section B questions at the end of the paper. Okay, so next question. Um, consider uh, let's, well, let's call it W. Uh, cos 2 theta over 3 plus i sine 2 theta over 3. I've got to show first off that uh, w cubed uh, equals 1. Uh, okay, so probably the easiest way to do this is, is using uh, De Moivre's theorem. Um, this cubed is going to be cos 2 pi 3 plus I sine 2 pi over 3 cubed um, and then we can just use De Moivre's theorem um, which is going to give me cos 2 pi times 3 over 3 plus I sine 2 pi over 3 and then obviously these are going to cancel out so I'm just going to end up with cos 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi and then if I work out what that is cos 2 pi is going to be 1 i sine 2 pi is going to be 0 therefore w cubed uh, is going to be equal to 1 okay the next one says I need to show that 1 plus w plus w squared equals 0 and I've got uh, what W is, is equal to here. Okay, so if I know so I need one plus W plus W squared, so that's gonna be one plus well I've just worked out or I've just been given what W equals, so that's gonna be cos theta over 3 plus i sine 2 pi over 3 and then w squared is going to be cos 2 pi over 3 plus i sine 2 pi over 3 and that's all going to be to the power squared so I can I can use De Moivre's theorem which is going to give me this bit here which is cos 4 pi over 3 plus i sine 4 pi over 3 and I've still got this here so 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi over 3 okay um, from this bit here well if this was a non-calculated question it would be a little bit more tricky I, I'd have to use um, various kind of manipulations of of the well I guess the trig trig graphs to work out two pi over three and four pi over three um, for kind of ease of use let's just say that this is a calculated question uh, we could basically put all that into our calculator uh, if we do that we should end up with one plus uh, minus a half plus i lots of root 3 over 2 minus a half minus root 3 over 2 and as we can see all that cancels out so that's going to give me 0 as my final answer okay so uh, next question um, Introduce e to the i theta plus e i theta plus 2 pi over theta plus e i theta plus 4 
pi over theta is equal to zero. Um, again, we can kind of notice that it's looking a little bit similar to that last um, that last part of the question, so we'll probably expect to be using that result in a minute. Um, let's see if we can just kind of separate that a little bit first. So we've got e i theta plus e That's going to be i two pi over three plus e i theta. That's going to be times by e i four pi over theta. That's going to be. We want to show that it's still equal to zero. Okay, so maybe don't put that in just yet. Um, we then can take e i theta out as a as a factor. So we've got e i theta one plus e I two pi over three plus e i four pi over three. Okay, and then from here, hopefully we can remember that um, how do we convert from this form um, into cos and sine? Well, if I know that e i two pi over three uh, is the same as cos 2 pi over 3 plus i sine 2 pi over 3 and I can see that this therefore was w from that previous part of the question uh, and equally e i 4 pi over 3 is equal to cos 4 pi over 3 plus i sine 4 pi over 3 and remember Again, from that previous part of the question, that was w squared. So, in effect, I've got e i theta 1 plus w plus w squared. And, again, if I remember the result, I'd just shown previously that 1 plus w plus w squared is equal to 0. Therefore, I've got e i theta times by 0. Well, therefore, that is 0. Uh, as I was expected to find. And lastly, it says illustrate this result for, for theta equals pi over 2 on an argand uh, diagram. Okay, so I've basically got three different roots here. Um, I can show that 